Holden Astra RS arrives on an all new chassis. It's lighter and ripe for a turbo 1.6 litre 4 that's been upgraded with overboost. It has the outputs, but let's see if this keenly priced warm hatch can prove hot enough. So Holden's Astra RS might have the initials of something that goes pretty quick and goes pretty hard, but I'm not a fan to be honest. The engine's okay, but things like the chassis balance lets it down a little bit. It's, it's not as composed as something like the, the Polo GTI or even the Hyundai. It's just not quite up to the RS standard. It's a lovely road car, out on the track, maybe a little bit out of its depth. I drove the, the base model Astra a few weeks ago. This is my first time in the RS, and I've got to say, it's a good car. It's a good looking car, and it's very supple, and I think it's a, it's a really classy effort. On the track, I think it's a bit more like the Hyundai than the Caterham, for instance. It's, it's not as track focused. I'm not sure anybody's going to buy it as a track car, but it's certainly got a really sweet motor and a, and a nice gear shift. And it, even on the track, when you're hammering it, it still feels like a classy product. As for a 1 minute 43.9, when you start to push it on the limit, you can feel it's got a lot of body roll on the way into the corner. But surprisingly, it doesn't generate as much understeer as what you would normally equate that to. Normally, it tends to overload that outside front tyre, generating a lot of your initial understeer. But it's surprising how it actually almost uses its body roll to help grip up that outside tyre. For its own characteristics, it was quite surprising. It, it was better than what I anticipated it to be. It's, uh, its engine's not too bad. It definitely starts to run out of puff, sort of higher up in the RPM. Holden's Astra RS looks as good as any Golf, but it lacks the sharpness and tactility of one. I like the engine, there's lots of power there, and there is a good amount of grip. For that money, it's not gonna keep the Volkswagen and Polo Duty up at night, but I'm glad it's here. Uh, yeah, it felt a little bit out of its depth on the racetrack there. Uh, you can't turn the electronics off at all. Uh, the brake pedal went long after maybe three or four corners and we, I wasn't even going that fast in it. But it's a really sweet car. It feels like a nice car and it feels like a car that would be awesome on the road. Like it, it sort of ha has a sort of soft handling balance. It feels like a ride really nice. The interior of the Aster is actually pretty good. It holds you in place, the steering wheel is good. A rubbery gear shift does let the team down a little bit, but it's not a bad place to be, especially for a road car, uh, on the track too. The seats hold you in place, so that's a good thing. So the Aster is kind of Holden's future in terms of something that's a bit entertaining. New Commodore coming next year in the form of the Insignia, but as a hot hatch rival, there's nothing really on the horizon, so the Astra RS is kind of it for the moment.